So of course the question now is how do practically do we actually use this information about Gaussian distributions, uh, standard deviations, etc. And the answer is that we will usually measure a bunch of values and then assume they follow a Gaussian distribution and calculate a standard deviation from them. So this is an example from your textbook, uh, problem 4-3. Um, eight different samples were measured, uh, and they all give slightly different values of the ratio of gallium-69 to gallium-71, which is the value you're trying to measure. Then the question is, what are the mean and standard deviation? Now the mean's pretty straightforward. We can just add the numbers together and then divide by the, the total, divide the total by eight. Uh, standard deviation, we just follow the formula, the formula that, that we had before. So, so the square root of the sum of the difference between each individual value and the mean squared, uh, divided, and that sum is divided by the number of measurements minus one, all of that taken as a square root. Now, this will be tedious, and so in general, we won't calculate these by hand, either means or standard deviations. We'll use something else. We'll use a, a computer program to do it for us. Uh, and so in the case of standard deviations and means, uh, spreadsheets are really designed for this. Uh, and so this is uh, an example of a spreadsheet you might set up. So I went ahead and wrote all the data in here. So this is the data from that measurement, uh, those measurements. And we want to find the mean. Now in Excel, uh, um, just as a brief introduction to Excel here, uh, each of these little boxes here is called a cell and it can store some data or a formula or some words, right? So each one sort of has its own data. And you can see up here at the top, um, it shows what is in that particular cell. So this one's blank. This one has the word data in it. This one has all this. So you can have labels for things as well as, um, you know, you can type just the numbers in directly and you can also type in formulas. And that's what makes Excel really handy. So for example, here, we have this formula and you indicate a formula by putting equal sign at the beginning. We use the function average that's built into Excel to find the average or the mean of this set of data. And so it'll do that calculation where it adds all of them together and divides by the total number. Uh, so this inside the parentheses here, this is, we're telling it what we want to average and it's also highlighting it for us so we can see it in blue. So B3 is the cell in column B, row three and B10 is down here, and the colon in between means it's the range between B3 and B10. So we type in equals average. It doesn't have to be all capitalized. Excel will change it to be all capitals uh, if you don't capitalize it. Uh, and that will give us uh, the average. So then we hit enter, and that shows us 1.5277. Now to calculate the standard deviation, uh, we can do it manually here. So we can take the difference between each value and the mean. Uh, and so that's this formula here equals B3. So that's the value minus the mean, which is B12. Now this has dollar signs in front of it because we don't, we want to subtract from the same mean every time. Because what's going to happen is as I copy this formula, I can just copy and paste this formula to all these different cells. We see that this value is changing, but this one isn't because they all are subtracted from the same mean value. Uh, and so that's the square of the difference. We need the sum of those, so we can use the um, sum function here, and this kind of puts it all together in one thing. So we add together everything in C3 to C10. We divide by the count, the number of values there, that way I don't have to count it myself, minus one, and all that is inside of a square root. So this is the standard deviation formula written out in Excel after we've done this square of the difference between the values and the mean. Now we can do all that, or Excel has that built in. And we can use this STDEV function, standard deviation function. We give it the values to do it on, and it'll calculate it and give us the exact same value here. Um, so that is a uh, straightforward way to calculate means and standard deviations is use a spreadsheet.